a quiet spring day. But soon, it's going to get loud here. Very loud. Approaching through the bushes, making a deafening noise on huge caterpillar wheels. Could it be a tank? At least the lower part could. Invisible in the belly of this monster are the human controllers. And they are the masters of this 53-ton heavyweight. Its name, the boar. And it's ready to get to work. Today, the boar is in no mood for fun. Menacingly, it displays its spider-like body. Two spikes bore their way into the suspension device to stabilize it. But what's the purpose? And what are all these rusty dangling chains for? This vehicle can clear mines easily without endangering life or limb. In the practical test, the mine clearing tank is now about to show what it can do. The 24 rusty chains now begin to rotate and cut into the earth, making a hellish noise. Its task is to clear mines. Sounds dangerous, but no problem for the especially well-protected boar with a front shield and a vehicle hull made of cast armoured steel. The next vehicle also runs on tracks. Tank or not? Whatever it is, it does 60 kilometers per hour, weighs 45 tons and goes by the name of Beaver. But what's it carrying on its back? A tank at the bottom, a folded bird's beak at the top. What's all that about? The lower jaw of the beak extends and docks onto the upper jaw. A 22 meter long bridge is created which is pushed forward over the head of the tank. When the bridge makes contact with the ground, it can be detached from the lower section. The commander then inspects the bridge to make sure that all connectors and bolts are in place. Only then is the bridge authorized for use. Very practical. The Beaver bridge-laying tank always has its own bridge on its back and can thus easily cross gorges and rivers or prepare the way for other vehicles. Laying down a bridge only takes three minutes. The other way round is much more complicated. When picking up the bridge, the main boom has to thread its way into the deposited bridge with millimetre precision. The slightest tilt would put the beaver out of action. But this time, everything goes well. The beak is retracted again, and the beaver makes its way to the next gorge. Our last curious military vehicle also looks somehow different. An almost 13 meter long hot dog on four wheels, with huge panoramic windows, perfect curves, and a total height of four meters. It comes across as a little ponderous, but equipped with almost 350 horsepower, this vehicle has a very special secret. The transformation begins. The hull folds outwards on both sides. A protective shield rises up. Strange nozzles suddenly appear. The wheels disappear and the monster is left lying on its belly. But what is this actually? A boat or a motor vehicle? The straight answer is both. This strange hot dog on wheels is an amphibious vehicle and can drive over roads and through rivers, despite its size and weight. 
That was all just a prelude, because now the amphibian shows what it is really capable of. At full speed, the two floats are extended, the amphibian fearlessly throws itself into the river, retracts its four feet and transforms itself into a giant floating crocodile. Propulsion is now provided by water jets. Elegantly, it now glides through the cold waters.